Hello. May I have your name, please? I'm Ragor. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am 77 years old. And last year, when I um, had my breast removed, it was really shocking in a sense because it didn't run in our family and I just never saw myself with breast cancer. But when it happened, I adjusted to it quite well and I thought about the age that I was already. And so many younger women um, have lost both breasts. There was a woman in the hospital with me. She had lost both and she was in her early 30s. So I didn't feel cheated or anything. I was. I just felt blessed that I went all these years and um, and then it occurred. I didn't expect it because I always took a mammogram, but I just never thought that I would really have it. I just, uh, after a certain age, I was pretty safe, but I learned that you're not safe at, at a certain age. It could occur anytime. How old were you when you were diagnosed? Seventy. Five or seven, yeah. Wow, 75 years old. So all those years of getting normal mammograms and then at the age of 75, oh, detection of breast cancer. What was the thought that went through your mind? Well, when I got a phone call, I knew I had the uh, examination at Friday and I got a phone call at Monday. And I remember having my uh, mammogram done twice because... They saw, I think it was like, they called this fatty tissue, and they wanted to make sure that it wasn't nothing there. So I was annoyed because I didn't really want to walk down to the hospital, and I was like, what do they want? And they said, well, I need you to come to the hospital. And so I said, uh, okay, all right, I'll get dressed and go. But I really didn't think that anything was going to happen. I really didn't. I just didn't expect that. Did you call? So, um, I adjusted to it, the news of it, and at first they took my nipple off, and they thought that would be enough. And so when I, they ran that, had that test done, and they found out that my whole breast needed to come off. And really I had a choice between the nipple, I mean, excuse me, I had a choice between having a... Uh, what's that chemo? Not not chemo. What is that? Radiation. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, and I could have had radiation treatment as opposed to having my breast removed. But I was like, no. Nah. They were saying how tired that make you. And every day for six weeks. And I just could not see myself going down to, to the hospital every day for six weeks. So I said, and then plus wasn't 100% guarantee, so I just said, no, we'll just have it removed. And that's the, that's the course that I took. And I didn't, I haven't, you know, regretted it. And being my age, I really didn't feel like a young one would have <coughs> felt. Um, I didn't feel that, that lost of it because of my age. So I didn't think about having no surgery to, what is that, how they do that? Fix your breast so you can have another breast? Reconstruction? Yeah, I wasn't going to go that way. Not at all. I said, just take it. And so they um, fitted me with a breast. And I just put it in my bra and go on about my business. So that's, that's working for me. Now, I have to take um, these chemo pills for five years because there's, if I live five years, but... It's for to keep it from reoccurring and going somewhere else in my body. Mm -hmm. uh, so I take it. Um, one little flaw that I didn't like about it, you know, they said it could cause weight gain. And I did gain 20 pounds since I had um, the surgery done. And I, 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 it wasn't my eating habits because I was more or less eating the same. But Right. I'm grateful to be alive and still be with my family, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. So I um, take it all in stride. Because if I had 
cancer and the, and the remaining breast, I still wouldn't have um, radiation. Right. I would rather just do away with it. You just cut it off like you did the other the yeah, right but, breast. Yes, but I hope not because you know I'm older. I'm seventy seven now, and uh, but I knew this woman that her and I. She was in my Bible class, and she was in. Her early 90s and mm -hmm. had to move. And she did well for three or four years before the Lord took her. But <clears throat> I would do the same thing. I would do it again because I wouldn't want to be bothered with the radiation and all that other stuff. Because if it's not there, then it's, it's nothing to, to occur because it's gone. Well, what advice would you give other women who may be facing the same thing, younger and older? Well, if you're younger, like young women who still maybe nursing babies and um, would feel insecure um, if the breast was gone because of, you know, their relationship with their husband or whatever. But you have to look out for you. You come first when it comes to that. And you should do make up your mind which way you're going. For me, as being this, the age I am, I said, I don't need all that reconstruction. I don't need a breast. I don't have... Uh, any babies looking to, to nurse and, and my husband he, he he just he's always been a good husband so he accept what's going on and he's just happy that I'm still here. Amen. And that's just how I I, I feel about it and I thank God that uh that I was one of the women that would have a mammogram all the time because my mother would she didn't really t do those sort of things. But I, I just do because I, I want to be here and be here sort of healthy, able to still do for myself because I don't want um, to be on my daughter. You wouldn't be on your daughter. Your daughter loves you unconditionally. Yeah, but I would want to make sure that I'm not responsible for what I'm going through because of negligence. I wouldn't want that. Well, that I understand. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for sharing your testimony and your story. And I hope people out there that are watching, that you be blessed by what you heard from this wonderful woman of God. And that you take what she said, get it in, listen, and self-care is the best care. Get it in. Make sure you realize what she said. And make those appointments. I know that we're in the middle of a pandemic. However, you still have to take care of yourself. So again, Alma, I'd like to thank you for doing this interview. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.